Alright yo, it is the Def King here, back with a brand new video, and guys, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about, um, what's it called? Oh yes, uh, <laughs> bindable functions. Alright, so, uh, first things first, if you're new to my channel, definitely should subscribe, okay, it's a good idea, because I drop scripting tutorials every other day, and eventually, if you watch all of my, all my tutorials, I am confident that you, you will be able to script anything. So you definitely should subscribe and watch my tutorials if you don't know what they are and stuff like that. So yeah, anyways, if you're new to scripting in general, you probably should go watch my beginner series. That teaches you, if you have no experience at all, it'll teach you just how to learn. Okay, so anyways, what, in, uh, what are we going to be learning about today? So okay, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about bindable functions. Now, bindable functions are basically are like sort of like remote functions if you know what those are they're, they're just like functions right but you can use them in any um like in another script okay so it's 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 its own object so you insert it into workspace wherever you want and it's a, called a bindable function right and then you insert it into like a workspace or whatever you want also you have a bindable events um and it's pretty much the same thing, but I'm going to be going over only bindable functions in today's video. So, yeah, if you want to learn about bindable events, I might have a tutorial on that one day, but I feel like it's not that useful, honestly. And honestly, for me personally, I don't even use bindable functions that often. They're not that practical to use. Uh, oftentimes, I'll use a module script. It's a, it's a better idea for me personally. But if you like bindable functions or if you see them, I want to make sure you guys know what they are, right? All right, anyways, so what is it okay so it's a function that you can use between scripts basically you can use this function in any script now i already wrote it out and i'm going to delete it all and do it from scratch but basically right now if i started the game what would happen is dun -dun -dun, it would kick me from the game and because what i want to do with this manual function is i want to make a ban list so it says here it says you were kicked from the game you are banned so yeah that's what we're learning about today's video we're going to make a ban list so that's pretty cool all right anyways so Let's go ahead and start from scratch and do this. Okay, I'm gonna delete all my scripts and bindable function and then we'll start just from a blank base plate. Okay, so first things first, you wanna make sure you have your bindable function. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert it into uh, replicated storage and I'm gonna call it, um, I'm gonna call it ban, or I'm gonna call it get list. Yeah, or, or I can do get ban, but I'm gonna do get list. Um, get, I don't know which one looks better. I'll do both capital letters at the front. Okay, get list, all right? You can name whatever you want, but just make sure you remember what you named it. Okay, and then you're gonna insert a script into server script service, and I'm gonna call this one um, the function handler, or like, yeah, function handler, or you can call it event handler if it's in an event, but basically, I'm, like, if I ever make any more um, like bindable functions, or bindable, yeah, bindable functions, like for example, if I made another one, I would write it all in this script, because you actually have to like, write out what you want the function to do in a script and then you can use it in others and then you can use it in other scripts so yeah um anyways but let's delete that i'm not going to be using that we're only be using one function in today's tutorial okay so now what we're going to do is first of all we need to get the list or we need, we need to get the functions we're going to do local get list is equal to game dot replicated storage wait for childs get list there we go and then we're gonna go ahead and do get list, and then here's where it comes to new syntax. Okay, so we have the function right here typed, and then I'm gonna type a dot, and what I'm gonna do is do, um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm gonna do um, on invoke. Okay, basically this is the function we want it to call whenever, the, or this is like the function we want it to do whenever it's called. So we're gonna do get list dot on invoke equals function. And then right here is where you type all your code that want, that you want to happen whenever this thing is called, right? So um, we're gonna go ahead and make it do a ban list, all right? Because we want it to actually, what we want this function to do is just ban people from your game, okay? So what we're gonna do is, uh, we want the function to check if people, people are on a ban list, yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a table in the script as well. I'm gonna call it banned list. Or I can call it ban list. I don't know. I'm gonna call it ban list like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna do local ban list, and then I'm gonna make a table just like that, and then I'm gonna write some usernames in it. Okay. So I'll write first of all. Um, I want to write this person I don't like at all. His name is uh, use code underscore rainway. Oh yeah, I do not. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is my friend. Anyways, um, I'll write his name. I'll write my name just to test it out. Um, and there we go. Yeah, I'm use code tap. If you guys don't know, my I have another channel called Tapwater. So uh, yeah. Okay. Anyways, so basically what I'm doing now is I'm going to loop through this ban list right here and check to see if the player that we pass through when we call the function is on this list. Okay. So I'm going to do four i through v in pairs or four i v in pairs. Um, 
ban list, which is a table. If you've never seen this syntax before, I've made a I've made a video on four I through or four I V in pairs loops or in pairs loops. Um, you should definitely go watch that if you know if you don't know what this is. All right, so four I V in pairs ban list do if v dot or no if v is equal to uh, and then we're gonna do player dot name and let me actually put one of the parameters we're gonna insert here is player. So whenever we call this function, we need to make sure we pass through the player. So if v is equal to player dot name, so basically it's gonna loop through. It's gonna go okay. Um, the first value right here, use code runway. So if v is equal to the player's name, so use code runway. Then, um, then what we would do is we would print, or actually, first of all, let's return true. So they are in the ban list. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna return true. But actually, before that, I want to print um, player is in the ban in the ban list. There you go, and our ban list. And then we're gonna do another thing. We're gonna just do the else right here, and that basically means if if it's not the the player's name, then um, print player is not on the or not in the ban list not on the list buddy <laughs> uh, okay there we go and then we're gonna turn false all right there we go so basically if, if the player is our uh, player's name matches correctly with this then it's going to actually return true but if it's not it's gonna return false also guys this is not a practical list to use don't actually use this for your game because whenever you um Whenever you make a ban list, right, you don't want to do it off the user's name because you can change your username. Like I could change my name to, you know, cool guy thirty seven and I wouldn't be banned anymore. What you want to do is actually write down their player IDs. So if you go into like your, your Roblox um you know website or whatever and then you go to your profile and uh, you'll see at the top, I'm gonna drag it over in one second, you'll see the top right here, it says I have one robux don't look at that all right you'll see at the top right here uh it says uh my player id this is it right here so basically you don't want to you'd want to use their player id when you ban someone instead of um their username because they can always just change it so how you do that is you just whenever you have the player you just do uh player dot user id there you go that's how you get it that, that's as simple as that um and then you obviously put the user id in the ban list um instead of the usernames so like that oh that's not it um, like that. There you go. Okay. Anyways, so we're not gonna do that. But um, okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um, keep it like this. Remember, if you want to do that, actually make sure you use your IDs. Uh, I'm gonna keep it as a player name just to make it simple. Um, so yeah. Okay. Next, we need to actually call the function somewhere because right now we're just making the function. Basically, we just said okay, on callings or on invoke, whenever this function's invoked or called, then we want to run this function. Okay, um, so then we're gonna go and make a new script, and we're gonna call this one um, main uh, main. Okay, yeah. I don't know what you name it if you ever wanted to, but I'm gonna call it main. Yeah, cause main main. Okay, all right. I'm dumb. All right. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and copy this over, cause there's no point typing it again. Uh, we're getting the list. We're always doing in this line is just getting the list from the replicator storage, and then we're gonna do game dot players dot player added. So basically, if a player joins the game, then this this event's gonna run, and then it also gives the parameter of player. So type that. Uh, oh no, connect. Oh, sorry. Uh, player added connect function. There you go. Uh, player. There we go. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um, get list invoke. And this is how you do it. This is how you invoke it or call the function right here. You just do the the function that you know you obviously have assigned or the the object the function, and then you just do colon invoke. And that basically is like it's basically like calling the function. Right. If you had an actual function, that's what you do to call it. But for this, you just write invoke. That's how you call those things. And then we're gonna pass through the player because it needs to know who to check to see it's from the player list or on the ban list. So then we're gonna go ahead and go in here. And as you can see here, it says return true. So if if the player that joins, um, if the player dot name is true, then it'll return true. So we actually need to set this equal to something. So we're gonna we're gonna set it equal to local is player banned. We'll name it that. And if this, well, basically this function is gonna run, right? And then 
uh, whatever the result gets, it's going to return, right? Basically, it's going to say if v.player.name, and then it's going to return true if, if the player's on the list. But if it's not, it's going to return false. So then we're going to do if is player band is equal to true, then um, kick the player. So we're going to do um, player kick, and then you can type in here the reason why they're kicked. Uh, you are on the ban list, buddy. Uh, there you go. And there you go. That should work. So let's go and try it out and see if it works. And hopefully I didn't mess anything up. But we'll find out in a second here. Alrighty. And, oh, player is not on the ban list. Alright, I'm not on the ban list for some reason. I don't know why, but um, apparently I'm not. Uh, obviously something's wrong here because my name is use code tap. Uh, did I type my name wrong? Possibly. No, my name's not wrong. So if v dot is if v is equal to player dot name. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and print out my um, player name. I'm gonna print player player dot name. I want to see if it's maybe getting the wrong name was passing through. This is what happens, guys, when you script. You get you get errors. So uh, welcome to scripting, guys. Welcome to scripting. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry about this, but listen, we find out together, guys. We find out together. And if you know in the comments, then you should tell me. All right. So it's saying that my name is right. So I'm actually just gonna copy that over just to make sure it all looks good. Um, so yeah, that was the right name. Okay. So if v is equal to player dot name. I'm confused. Why isn't this working? I'm going to delete this first value. This, this should work. I don't understand. Uh, Roblox. Okay, I'm typing an extra value there just to, just to add something to this table. But I'm, I hate when this happens when I'm recording a tutorial and then I mess up because now... Oh, there you go. It worked. Okay, for some reason... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, for I V in players... Or in pairs ban list. Okay, first of all, that that did, don't worry about this error. This error I just got because um. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna start it again. All right, let's go ahead and start it and see if it works. Okay, so we're gonna hit play now, and bum ba da bum. Come on, come on, one day we can do it. We can do it. Come on, let's go. All right, we're loading. We're loading still. All right, well you know what? Now it's loading. Uh, perfect time to say use code tap when buying Robux. Uh. I, I, I'm not tap obviously on this channel. My name is Dev King on this channel. But um, if you use code TAP tap when buying Robux, it does support me. So I appreciate it. I get like five percent of the Robux. I don't you do you get all your Robux. I mean I'm sorry I don't I don't get five percent of the Robux. I get five percent of the money that you spent. So yeah you don't get you get all your Robux. But I just get the, I just get the five percent of the money. So yeah. Anyways the game started and it worked. Okay it said players on the ban list and then it said you were kicked from the game. You were on the ban list, buddy. And boom, it worked fine, perfectly. That's awesome. Um, you were kicked from this game. You're in a middle spot, so it did work. That's good. And now we just hit leave, and then obviously the game ends. So yeah, it works. Also, I don't think you've ever seen this function before. Uh, kick. That basically just means kick. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so yeah. Now I'm confused as why that didn't work at first, right there. Like whenever I put another name first, it doesn't work. Oh, I know why. Okay, okay, I know why. Okay, so basically, the reason why it didn't work when I had Roblox first or, or use code Rainway first is because what's happening is, um, see, we're learning together. So what's happening is, is uh, it loops through it all, right? And then it goes, okay, um, you know, then okay. So for the first, it loops through in like in order, right? So the first thing it loops through is this name, use code Rainway, and then it goes, okay, um, if the V is equal to player dot name, and the name it has is use code tap because that's that's me, I joined, and it actually it, the name wasn't equal to the, this. This isn't equal to the name that was in the game, right? Because Rainway never joined. So basically, it went to else, and then it returned false. So that's why this didn't work. It returned false right here, and then it just um, it didn't call the function again. So it just ended up returning. So actually, you probably wouldn't want to return false. You probably would just want to do that. And then if you wanted to do that, you could do um, else print players on the ban list. There you go. Uh, there you go. So let's see if this works. Um, and it's not responding again. What is happening in Roblox today, guys? I have no clue, but this is Roblox Studio for you. All right, there we go. So now it worked. So yeah, basically just don't, um, don't put the return false. 
Uh, it makes sense, I guess. You don't want to return whenever you um, you don't want to return whenever you haven't found the the player that's banned yet or, or loops with the whole loop. So that makes sense. Don't return false. You delete that whole line, and the script should work perfectly fine. And uh, it'll work with user IDs too. All right, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a lick or a like, you know, whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah. All right, guys, more tutorials coming soon, I promise. Also, guys, I, I have a big plan. Like, it, it's a very big plan for this channel. And, um, and yeah. Also, some things I said might change a little bit. Like, I'm still going to upload, but the plans might have changed a little bit from what you know. I I'll have a whole video explaining it one day um, in the near future, I'm sure. Okay, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned. Peace.